Hello everybody. I'm recording this just to show you my Volkswagen. As you can tell, I've got a vacuum line hooked here from the hydrogen cell under the back seat. I've removed the back seat. This is an unusual engine in that it's got an AMSOIL bypass filter and a precharger so that it pumps oil pressure before the motor starts so it never starts, it never dry runs. I'm going to demonstrate my hydrogen cell today. I've got a switch attached to the throttle and when the engine is at idle it shuts off the hydrogen so the only time hydrogen comes out of this engine is sent to this engine is when the throttle is depressed and so that'll keep me from wasting hydrogen during idle periods the hydrogen cell inside the car if you can see it I put a skull head on top of the pulser box that's the pulser right there this is the dry cell the tubes to the dry cell go up behind the seat to the water tank. I've got a relay down here. This car is unusual in that it has several relays. The power to the coil on this car goes directly from the battery, not like way, the way Volkswagen had it, which sent the power to the coil to the ignition switch and all the way back. And also the power to the coil was from the, the starter relay goes to the ignition switch. This car has a relay for both. The starter relay goes directly to the starter from the battery through a relay and the coil goes directly to the battery from a relay and then I have another relay connected to the coil circuit and when the coils on it engages a relay there that turns on this cell and it takes its power directly from the battery but the ground on the relay is what's connected to the throttle pedal back there so the relay is not grounded unless you depress the throttle and that's way that way the cell doesn't run okay I'm gonna start the engine now but first before I start the motor I'm gonna show you my water tank uh, behind the back seat here is the water tank I used PVC 4 inch PVC tube I used two sippy cup for bubblers and a pre bubbler over there and I also can fill them from one, one to the other and this uh, this flow into the with the HHO goes into here through this T and into one bigger hose and then the return line hose is connected back there and comes around through here and goes down through this PVC pipe that protects it from anybody and when the seat's shut it doesn't touch the hoses okay now here you can see the cell I'm gonna start the motor now Precharger. Pre when the buzzer goes off, the oil pressure's up, and I can just turn the engine on full oil pressure. Now here's the cell. I told you it won't run. It's dead, and you can see it's dead. Up here, there's no HHO coming out of the bumper. I depress the throttle. Bear with me. Not much room in a Volkswagen. You can see. Comes on. I put a light in the skull head. The light lets me know that the cell is active. And you can see by the flow of bubbles that it's, it's now drawing HHO through the cell. And it's starting to get active. I checked the amperage earlier and it was about 6 amps. So at 6 amps the cell may not fill both hoses with uh, HHO. Occasionally, maybe. But this is a uh, a very good cell. As you can see it's working really, really well. I wish it wasn't so dark, but I, I, I didn't get done till that till late. I don't have a light. But you can see that this is working really, really well. And I'll show you my bubbler. If I can do this without enough to throttle. You can see that I have my bubbler bubbling. HHO coming up the tubes there. And that's basically the cell. That tube you see sticking out on top is to fill it with to make it easier for me to add water to this cell. This should be real maintenance free. It should not need anything but distilled water occasionally. And I, I, I think the skull head gives it a good effect. If that skull head is not lit up, I know something's wrong and there's no power to the cell. So I put that on there 
I don't have a kill switch on this, so uh, I don't think I need it. If I have a problem, I can always jerk the ground wire off. But this is basically the cell I've got in the Beetle, and uh, I'm real happy with it. I've driven it about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Worked really well. The engine on this car seems to like hydrogen more than most engines. It just changes the whole personality. I haven't done a mileage run yet, so uh, we'll see how it does. That's all for now. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you all later then. Bye.